Thanks, Tim. The sights and sounds of 4th of July fireworks might be over, but the damage from illegal fireworks remains. 23 ABC's Leah Steinberg found out just how dangerous this past weekend was. They may look pretty, and they're a popular way to celebrate our country, but many local firefighters spent the holiday saving lives instead of celebrating. It's getting worse. City Fire Battalion Chief Danny Brown said they responded to nearly 500 calls and confiscated over 700 pounds of illegal fireworks over the weekend. We had 31 fires this year on the 4th of July, which is a really high number for us. Many also posted videos of the illegal booms on Facebook. There were reports of illegal fireworks all over the city this weekend, including one right here in the southwest neighborhood where aerial fireworks landed on the roof of this home. We went up to the door, started banging on the door, woke him up and got him outside. Brett Blackburn and his girlfriend noticed a 4th of July celebration gone bad, leaving the homeowners with nearly $225,000 worth of damage. This was the worst year. It was like a war zone out here. The windows were rattling. It was really, really bad. You know, they're now homeless because of aerial fireworks that should have never been used in the first place. In addition to several other roof fires and palm tree fires that left many injured, they were all incidents fire officials say could have been avoided. The fact that the amount of damage that was caused this year due to illegal fireworks um, was completely avoidable. Leah Steinberg, 23 ABC.